So for the third sample program for arrays, we're going to look at uh, a number of different options for initializing the array. Um, in this basic program, uh, all I've done is taken the sample program we were working on in the first example and cut the input loop out. Okay, so it simply declares the array with uh, four test scores um, and then goes right to outputting it. And I've modified slightly the, the format of the output. Um, so uh, at this particular point, the array that I've declared is uninitialized. Okay, so I've simply declared it. So when I run the program, and I see the contents of the array, um, I notice that what I basically have is garbage. Okay, So when you create an uninitialized array, the elements aren't guaranteed to be any particular value like zero. They're just going to be whatever happens to be in memory. So that's important to know. So the best option for initializing your array is uh, using this form. So you declare the array just like before equals an open brace and a closed brace, and in between is the list of initializers. Okay, so when I say it's fully initialized, that means that there's initializers for each of the elements of the array. And as you might expect, uh, they go in order. So position 0 will be initialized to 44.4. Position 1, 55.5. 3, 77.7. And 4, uh, sorry, that would be 2. And 3, 88.8. Okay, so it happens in order. We'll run that, and there uh, won't be any surprises here. What we see when we output the array are the initializers um, that we used. Another option you have available to you is to partially initialize your array. Uh, so in this case, I don't have four initializers. I only have two. Um, so obviously, position 0 would be made equal to 44.4, position 1, 55.5. Positions 2 and 3, because there are no initializers, will automatically be initialized to 0. It doesn't leave uh, any elements uninitialized, but if you don't have an initializer for it, it uh, sets it to 0, which is a little different than what happens in some other languages. So we'll run this one. And again, we see the, the initializers 44.4 and 55.5, but we don't have garbage in 2 and 3 we have zeros instead. And the final option I'll show you here for initialization is uh, what I've called lazy initialization, and that is exploiting the fact that you don't actually need to specify the size of the array. If you're initializing it, what it'll do is it'll decide how many elements are in the array based on how many initializers you have. Um, I don't like this particular form so much. I would prefer to explicitly spell out how many elements there are, such as in the the full initialization option, uh, but it is something that's available to you. So if I if I leave out number of tests here, it's just going to count up the initializers and use that for the array. So when I run this, okay, we should see that it works just fine. Okay. So that's basically our uh, third example program, just initializing the array a number of different ways.